Hello again. Well, we've finally finished reading Catherine's exceedingly long journal. And we've learned that she came to Riven because she believed that Atris was there. If I recall correctly, this was part of the plan of Atris and Catherine's son, Sirius and Akinar, to get their parents out of the way while they executed their evil schemes. Atris is quite the family. His father has delusions of grandeur, his sons were sociopaths, and his daughter Yisha, well, she's just plain weird, as those who've played Uru and Mist Firefall know. Apparently Catherine came to Riven without a book linking back. A stupid thing to do, considering there are no linking books on Riven. Maybe she thought uh, Atris had a book with him. Well, Catherine was trapped in the cage at the linking spot just like us, but uh, also like us, she was rescued by the moiety. At the time, the moiety were hiding in caves on Riven. Catherine stayed with them for a while and learned their distorted version of how Atris and her defeated Gen. And to her dismay, she found out that the moiety believe Atris and Catherine are gods and that they will save them. By using a book stolen from Gen, Catherine was able to write this age, Tay, and bring the moiety here. Catherine also came up with a better way to fix Gen's broken books, a small window that can be placed over the gateway image. The materials she needed to for this she wrote into the New Age. So unlike what Gen believed, the gateway image was not Dani technology that Catherine took with her, but it was something that Catherine came up with herself. Catherine also wrote us a note from her prison. I assume Nila, the Rivenese woman who gave us the journal, has to bring Catherine food once in a while or something, and that Catherine used that opportunity to find out that we were here and to tell Nila to take us back uh, to bring us the prison book. We also learned the combination of to open the hatch beneath the telescope, and um, which would reopen the starfisher. But Catherine also told us explicitly not to do that before we've rescued her, and it's really, really a bad idea to do that. <laughs> Seems like someone's coming again. It's Nila again. Hopefully it's not more journals. Don't worry. I promise I'll rescue Catherine. Okay. Goodbye, Nila. And goodbye, Tay. Because we are going back to Riven. Yes, it is unfortunate that uh, we cannot explore more of this age. But we cannot. This is the uh, window placed over the gateway image to fix the broken book. We link back to Riven, back into the stone cave. We see that the opening holding the book to Tay has resealed itself. Which makes sense, of course, it would automatically close after it's been used. So that no one else can use it. Now, I said before that I found it strange that the, um, that the moiety would leave these clues around to find this book. But actually, I think this may be intentional, uh, done by Catherine's order. She, she would leave these clues behind in the hope that Atrus would find them and would be able to find the moiety age where she is. Of course, she's no longer there because Gen captured her. But probably these clues were there so that Atrus would be able to find his way to uh, the, moiety ca the moiety age when uh, he came to rescue Catherine. Unfortunately, we were able to use these clues instead. Okay, so now we're back on Riven. What else can we do? Well, the game of Riven basically has two major puzzles. This one, the, st the uh, stone cave puzzle, is the first one. And the other major puzzle is the fire marble puzzle, which I've mentioned several times so far, but we haven't seen it yet. The fire marble puzzle 
is um, uh, related to the book domes and the symbols and the colors. As I've said before, we know four of the five symbols and we know five of the six colors. We know the locations of all five domes. So we have the information we need to solve this puzzle. We just need to actually find the puzzle. This is something when I was playing the game for the first time it took me quite a long time because I had actually been able to gather all that information um, based on the assumption that I would need it. But because I had not seen the lever to raise the bridge on the, in the big dome, I didn't know where to find the puzzle and it took me some time to find it. Fortunately now I do know where it is. And we are going to go back to uh, Dome Island, back to the beginning. Because of the optimal route that I'm using, this is the only time we take a mac lab twice. We've taken this one to get to Village Island and now we're taking it to get back to Dome Island. I should note, by the way, that I'm playing the um, DVD version of Riven. If you play the original CD version, you have to switch CDs every time you go to a different island, which gets very annoying, especially if you don't know what you need to do, so you cannot follow this optimal path. You have to constantly switch islands, constantly switch CDs, which gets very tiring. Okay, We see that the door into the temple is closed, but fortunately it opens up as we approach it. Again! So Gen's head appeared in the projector there, which would seem to suggest that he was broadcasting from the uh, room with the chair we know to be nearby. when we look inside, he's not there. So either this was a recording, we've already seen uh, that these images can also show recordings, or he just uh, went away really quickly. And we're back on Dome Island. Now, well, before going into uh, the dome, let's go to the uh, to the telescope. One thing I didn't uh, point out uh, at the beginning is that while all of the floor here is rock, this here is metal. This metal is there to seal off the star fissure. And we now have the combination we need to open the uh, hatch. Excuse me a second while I look it up. The combination should be 5, 5, okay, it's not working. The buttons aren't working. Um, it could be because the telescope is not in the top position. Five, five, three, one, four. And that opens the viewport. The viewport is protected by glass. And we can now look in the telescope and we see stars. So there's stars below Riven, which is really weird. But well, everybody has already pointed that out that nobody know, really knows what the star fissure is. The, the telescope can be lowered, but it is prevented from hitting the glass by this stop here. 
when it comes time to open the um, starfisher, we can remove this stop. But if we were to do that now, the Atreus would come and Catherine is still trapped, so that would be a very bad idea indeed. Well, we're out of time, so next time we will solve the fire marble puzzle. See you then.